All right. So, I figured it's time to do another template. And so, this is the green auto ship. We are on at number 13 hexagon twister card. We have moved to the big 12 by 12 ones now. But it folds into 5.2 by 5.8 card. Okay. So I'm going to emboss with my Cricut embossing tool. So actually this will fit in the Cricut machine. And emboss. If I need it to. But I like it. As my embossing tool I like the tip on it and it fits perfectly in these um, templates so oh, I got a runny nose I had a, my allergies and I had a little bit of a sneezing fit right before I started recording this and now My nose wants to run, but it needs to not run. Okay, um, now I need to look because this is one of those weird ones that's going to have all these different fold lines and stuff. And I want to make sure that I'm not scoring a mat and layer line. Because that's going to really screw us up, right? So here we got a glue tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do the two glue tabs. This might be a little weird. We'll see. Sometimes it looks like it's going to be hard and there's nothing to it. And then sometimes it looks like there's nothing to it and they end up being hard. Okay, and then we have these score lines across so let me get that one now I'll do these so this is gonna be a mountain it says right there mountain fold and then these are gonna be valley fold and mountain fold and this will be a valley Okay, did I do that one? That's my glue tab. That's also mountain fold. <coughs> now the paper that I'm using for this is not as heavy as that white cardstock. But I don't have that white cardstock in 12 by 12. <laughs> and that's the thing, right, when we move to the bigger ones, we don't necessarily have a sturdy cardstock for that. Okay, and so I'm going to cut it out. I like to cut away the extra paper as soon as I can. So if you didn't see the video I did this morning, I was saying that there's a mountain lion been spotted twice a couple of blocks over. 
So, my dog, she's very small. And she, I'm afraid to let her out right now. I mean, some of these little cottontail rabbits on the golf course are bigger than she is, you know. So, I'm a little worried about that. And I don't know, like, was it seen during the day? Was it seen at night? You know, and they're saying, don't, if you see it, don't run. <laughs> because to them, that's what prey does. So the second you start running, you look like prey. Well, like my first instinct is going to be run. But you can't do that. So it's just slowly leave. Try to make yourself look bigger than you are. So hold up your arms and, you know, speak firmly. <laughs> I'm like, oh, great. And it says, always fight back with mountain lions. Because mountain lions, I guess, have been known to um, leave prey that, leave prey that, um, There's an insert card. Oh, this is the insert card. And we're supposed to do three of those. First, let's do this. Okay. So these, this is a mountain fold. Mountain fold. Valley fold. Okay, Valley Fault is going to be both of these. Okay. And then Valley Fault again. Both of them. So yeah, I don't like hearing that there is this here doesn't say, <laughs> but the rest are mountain. So So now, we've got to fold the car in half and glue both of the side tabs. Glue them how? Fold the car in half. So this and this and then what? I don't want to glue it until I see what it does. That's got to be glued under under and under I guess
And then we get this. I'm guessing that's right. You can't tell from that. All right, let's do what it says and let's glue it. And one of the things was that, you know, it's a mountain lion. A mountain lion's about three times the size of a bobcat. <laughs> I like, oh, really? Like I've ever seen a bobcat? <laughs> <coughs> I thought that was kind of cute. So it says three insert cards. So one... Two, um, Inside, slot the cards inside the hexagon based. So one goes in there. I just don't see where you would put three. One, two, and I guess somehow you fit one in there. I'm sorry. No. It's... I'm sorry. I'm done with this. Um, if it works for you, okay, great. I'm glad because for me, this is nothing. It's a hexagon. Yes, you made a hexagon. Um, what would it be good for? It's not even remotely interesting. It just looks like a mess <coughs> standing. See? Roll the card and see which gift card you get. Roll it. <laughs> I don't know. It. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being skeptical, but to me, I mean, why, I, why?
Yes, I fold into a hexagon. Yes, it does fold into a hexagon, but then what? Or maybe if you put, if you're going to reward somebody with three gift cards, I guess, um, I'm sorry, I just don't. <coughs> That's just not, I just, I'm sorry. I know that I've made it right, and I know it's what doing what it's supposed to do, and but I'm not impressed. And I don't see myself ever doing that again. Oh, I suppose if somebody says to me, can you make me a hexagon card? I can say, oh, wait, yeah, I can. I guess. This is going to be cute, though. This is gift box, but I don't know how much of a box it's going to be, but that'll be cute. But this one, no. This one, I am sorry, I just didn't get it. I did not get it. <laughs> that was just a waste of time. And you know, sometimes from looking at the pictures and stuff, it's hard to judge. And I've been like, oh, this is crazy. But then I get, make it, and it's like, oh, this is cool, you know. And there's been some that I thought were going to be cool and I made them and I'm like, mm, yeah. To me, that that one, I'm sorry, it was useless, basically. Let me show the card that I made this morning because I didn't quite finish it, finish it. I had to let it dry because where I had gone over it with the glitter glue, I'd either missed a spot or when I'd gone back to go over it a little more, I took some away or it ended up on my hands. <laughs> <coughs> so I had to let it dry. Then I had to come back and I had to add more. So then I glued it all together and I said I would put some gems or something up here and I actually put Nuvo Drops and I used the Cloud Dream Drops, which means it's going to have an iridescent look to it. They are still drying. But I, hopefully this arrangement that I'm, that I've got right now works in my scrapbook, in my craft room, because I got my Nuvo Drops in a drawer right by me. And... I should always arrange to have them right by me because I love to use them and because they're not right by me anytime I make a video, they're not in the video. But in actuality, in real life, I use, not real life, my videos are real life, definitely real, right? But when I'm working on a card and spending a day or whatever on it and, you know, really working on it, which I can't do on my videos because it takes too long. I use the drops a lot. So now I can use the drops in the videos because it's right here. And hopefully it can stay that way. But they need to set up and dry. And so that's what that's doing now. And I'm actually... At first I was like, oh... But it's kind of growing on me a little bit. All that glittery goodness on there. And I backed it up with glitter cards. So. <coughs> Alright everybody. So. Uh, I didn't check before I started the video. When I get to 500 subscribers. I will be doing a tour of my craft room. Oh, I hate to do that because I am constantly in the process of 
trying to get it to work and organize it to where it works right for um, when I'm videoing because it just doesn't seem I never have it right, you know. And so right now, I've got boxes of stuff on the floor and boxes and boxes and and it's a mess. But so far what I'm doing, what I have accomplished, seems to be working really well for the video. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm on the right track. Every time I change it, it does get a little bit better every time. So... I'm thinking this time is going to be better, better. And I'm getting like, I did it, y'all. I got rid of two of my cutting machines. I um, gifted them. And so now I have that extra space where I have my cutting machines. Now I've only got the three of them lined up <laughs> instead of the five of them and trying to get them I'll move this one out a little bit move that one out and so um, and I'm going to be taking other stuff out of here that I'm like I don't need that in there when I'm crafting I need to use it but I don't need it when I'm crafting so you know, like my computer going to another room. Um, stuff like that. <laughs> so hopefully I can get this to work well. That's what I'm hoping for. Um, but I'm promising to do a tour of my craft room at 500 subscribers. And the last I looked, I was at like nine... 86, I think, and not nine, 486. And the numbers can go down. And usually, it's funny because I'll go down one in the same day and then go up two or, you know, like that. So, um, so it could happen in a month from now. It could happen... In a couple of days, you know, it I could hit that number. It's just no telling with the subscriptions. But at 500, you can tour my craft room if you want to. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, we have swap reveals at the end of the week. And that's it, I guess. All right, everybody, if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.